Estee High School, police arrested a 15-year-old girl. Nine News reporter Tom McKee broke this story at noon. He's live now with the impact this threat is having on that community, Tom. Well, Clyde, that 15-year-old girl is in Claremont County Juvenile Detention tonight, and the folks that run the West Claremont School District here are considering expelling her, all because of what she posted on Facebook about a possible shooting, since unfounded, though, on the Glen Estee campus. The buses leaving the Glen Estee campus Friday weren't very full. The Facebook threat took care of that for anxious parents. We had about a 50% reduction in, in attendance at the middle school level and slightly more than average at the high school level as well. Glen SD High School senior Bailey Fryman said the posting was ridiculous, but it changed her Friday schedule. I, including myself, was a little scared this morning, so I didn't come to school until my coach sent me a text saying I had to be at school to cheer for the basketball game. The low attendance made for a very unproductive day for many students and faculty members. You're a teacher, you give some kind of an assignment or you have some kind of activity you do, and now 70% of your kids don't get a grade for this day. When the rumors surfaced, worried parents flooded the Union Township Police Communications Center with calls. The department threw all of its resources into the investigation. There are at least several dozen officers involved in this investigation from when we got the first call last night at 4 o'clock to when we made the arrest this morning at 11 o'clock. Parents weren't notified by the school right away. In retrospect, we probably could have done a better job in communicating that we believed it was safe uh, and it was a good place to send your kids uh, uh, to the school the next morning. The fact that it was a hoax was welcome news, but there were other emotions in play as well. Of course, it was a feeling of relief um, that there was nothing planned, and there was a feeling of anger that this person, there was a feeling of anger that this person could so casually uh, make a threat like that just for their own amusement. Now, Superintendent Brooks said in the future they're going to look at the possibility of having social media education for students so they realize and understand that when they press enter to send something over the Internet, you can't get it back. Tom McKee, 9 News, live in Union Township.